Hey Libra, this is your reading for April of 2022. We have the King of Wands with the Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is telling me, the message that I was getting as I was pulling these cards was to stop worrying so much. Things are gonna work out the way that they're meant to be. Everything happens for a reason and the universe has your back. <laughs> so three main messages for you to understand and really kind of take with you this month is you need some rest, as in this could be about work because you have the King of Wands. So this could be you're working a lot, uh, you're putting a lot of energy into something. It could be a hobby, an activity, a relationship, but you're you're just putting your all into something and it's time to take a little bit of a break. It's time to get some sleep. This also could mean that you're not sleeping at night and it might be because of all of the stress. Now you've got the two of cups here. So this is kind of a connection, a very, this is like a new connection. So you might be meeting somebody, you might be meeting a partner uh, in business, in career, you might be having a new employee come in, but there's like two of you coming together is what I'm feeling. Um, there's somebody, this is a specific message coming through, but there is someone on the other side that is giving a message um, is coming through. So this might even be someone on the other side that you're connecting with and really kind of, maybe that's why it's sleepless nights because you're dreaming of this person. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out in the pinned comments. But um, that message is coming through for somebody. So take it as it resonates. I am getting like a J, a Jim, or an M name. So take that how it resonates. But the two of cups here, I feel like there's a connection. Now we have as the challenge card, we have a five of wands. So this is about conflict. So there's a lot going on in your mind and this is probably why you're not sleeping. So this could be anxiety, it could be a lot of thinking, it could be ruminating things that are happening. Maybe you have a past loved one that just passed away. I'm not completely sure because it is a general reading. We've got the moon card as the outcome and the ace of pentacles. You can see there's a full moon on this card and there's a full moon on this card. I feel as though during the full moon in April, things are going to be coming up for you. And with those things coming up, we need you to relax a little bit. So this message might not resonate right in the beginning of the month. It might be a little bit further into the month, but it's going to be a lot of things that are coming up for you. And with the moon card here, specifically the moon card and the ace of pentacles, whatever is coming up for you is going to lead you to a brand new beginning. So this two of cups, I do feel as though is a good connection and it's going to lead you to a place of where you're either opening your eyes, you're seeing things different, um, or like your life is starting to change. Like it, it definitely feels as though something new is coming into your life that you've never really had before. So embrace that, trust that, stop thinking too much because you will override the intuition and, you know, block whatever's coming in from for you from the universe. So don't override that. Allow yourself to have this kind of abundance.